Hi gang, Scott Davenport here. In this video, I'll show you the erase tool in Luminar AI. Now, a couple of things before I show you the tool. First is I'm sharing a pre-release version of the software. Skyland was kind enough to share an early version with me so I can play with it and share some things with you. But that means the final product may look a little bit different than what I show you here. Although with the erase tool, I'm kind of expecting it to work basically as I show you, but do keep that in mind. The other thing is if you're interested in Luminar AI, thinking about adding it to your photo kit, please visit the show notes, use the link there, won't cost you anything extra, and it'll give me a little support on this channel so I can keep doing more tutorial videos like this. So let's have a look at the erase tool. In the edit module over in the essentials tool group, we have the erase tool. The way the erase tool works is we select or deselect areas to apply and erase to. You mainly work with select and if you make a, an errant brush stroke, you can deselect it. Let me zoom in at 100%. And then we'll pan over to this upper right corner where there's a few things that are distracting. I've got a dust spot here, and these, uh, this like little part of the building, something sticking out here, those are annoying. I want to get rid of those. So with my select turned on with the erase tool, let me bring my brush radius up a little bit. We'll click once on that dust spot. Now nothing's been erased yet. I'm just selecting areas on the scene that I want to have erased. And that's really how the tool works, is you do all of your selections and then you can run the erase as one job. So I'll take care of this and this. And let's say for the sake of argument, I had a, a mistake, I had a brush stroke where I, I didn't mean to do that. That's where I can go to deselect and just take that out of the, uh, out of the way there, out of the equation. And once I've got all my selections done, I click erase. Luminar AI goes to work, thinks about things, and removes those objects. And that's it, that's, we're done, that's nice and clean. And that's how the erase tool works. I mean, the key thing is you select multiple areas that you want to have erased, and then click the erase button. Use deselect if you have any errant brush strokes that you didn't mean to have. That's the tool. Hope you found this video useful. And if you're thinking about adding Luminar AI to your toolkit, please use the link in the show notes. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.